Hello, this is Mark with How to Windows and How to Outlook.com. Today I will explain to you all of the parts of a computer, then we will build it. The first thing you will need is a Phillips head screwdriver. Now as far as for the inside of the computer, 8 pieces are crucial and the ninth is optional. The first crucial part is the CPU. This is also known as the brain. This is like the brain of a human body, but for a computer. Make sure not to touch anything but the sides of this piece, especially not the top. The top will eventually look like this with thermal paste. The thermal paste will come from the fan. The fan also, a crucial piece. Without this, the CPU would overheat and burn. Kind of like a radiator in a car. This is actually a used fan, so that is why the thermal paste is already spread out. A new one will have strips of coating. Don't touch it so it doesn't spread out. It'll spread out by itself when it touches the CPU. The four pegs are for locking this into place. RAM, another important part of a computer. RAM relieves the workload off of the CPU to make the overall experience more productive. If you look closely, the gap is off-centered. This is to show you which way to put it in the motherboard. The motherboard, also a very important part. This is where all the pieces are attached to. This is where the CPU will go. Then when the computer is built, this is where you plug in all the wires to. You have the sound inputs, USBs, Ethernet connection, onboard graphics, an HDMI port, USB 3.0s, and two more USBs. And if you really need it, an old plug for the mouse or keyboard. This is where we will be plugging in the stuff for the front panel. This is called the SATA ports. This is where the wires that will be sending information from the motherboard to the hard drive and the CD-ROMs will be plugged into. This is where the power will be plugged into the motherboard to power the motherboard. And this is where the RAM will go. And you can move these black pieces to unlock and lock the RAM into place. Another important part of a computer is the DVD or CD drive. This is how you install drivers and the operating system. Plus, if you want to watch any movies, this is how you will do it. This is where you plug in the power and the data cables. This is the optional part. This part is only necessary if you want to run a wireless connection versus wired. This is a PCI Express card, meaning it has a smaller port than the regular PCI, which is an older technology, almost never used anymore. Now this is kind of an optional part. This is a part that can be left out if you're not planning on using games on this computer. And if you are, there is very little that can beat the bang for the buck on this graphics card. It comes as a PCI Express and with its own fan. This only requires one 6-pin connector to power it, versus other cards that require two. It gives you two DVI ports, an HDMI port, and a display port, which is used to connect some TVs. However, it does need two slots for the back. This is the fan that comes integrated with the GPU. This is where everything is stored, and it's called the hard disk drive. Once again, on the back, we have the two connectors, one for the power and one for the data cable. And lastly, the power supply. This is what powers every single part of the computer. I got a 700 watt because at the time it was on sale and it gives me room for upgrades. However, with our build, you would probably only need 500 to 650. This is a modular power supply, meaning that only the bare necessities are plugged in, but anything else you would need needs to be plugged in manually. And to put everything inside is the case. This isn't the roomiest case, but it is a good one. It has a very easily accessible CD-ROM and hard drive bay.